<laughs> Hi friends, thanks for watching the Papa and the Bandit video today. We're going to hang out at Clear Lake, Washington today, which is Papa's home base. And the family's going to be here, the grandkids, we're going to have fun hiking and kayaking and boating and watching Bandit be crazy and we've got deer and giant catfish to look at. So it's going to be an exciting time. And at the end, we're going to have an update on Papa's health situation. So come along, let's have some fun at Papa's Place. Good morning, friends. Papa Dale here. And we are back home in Washington. Back home on Clear Lake. This is my camping lot. It's a quarter acre, water, power, septic. It's an awesome camping lot. So Bandit is just totally excited to be home. This is uh, the only home that he's really known. And he just wants to get out here and pee on everything. Yabba dabba do! Bandit says, Yabba dabba do! <laughs> This is what we're doing this morning. We are walking, walking the bandit. Hey, bandit, come here. Come here, bandit. Are you happy to be home? Yeah, Papa, I'm real happy to be home. This is, this is just really exciting. And I, I recognize all of these smells and I'm looking for that squirrel that I like to chase, but I can't see that squirrel around here. Can you help me find him? Well, no, I'm not gonna help you find the squirrel. You're on your own there. He wants to be off that leash so bad. You know, if I if I let him off the leash, even in our home neighborhood, I wouldn't see him for an hour. <laughs> he would be Lord only knows where. Running around, getting into mischief, chasing the neighborhood cats. He had a neighborhood cat that he chased underneath the deck last year. And I don't know what was going on under there, but I would hear this meow, meow. <laughs> and he would just go on and on and on and on and the cat would go on and on and on and then pretty soon I hear this hey, hey, like you know he got scratch and he came running out from under there and he learned that it wasn't the best thing for him to be under there it's nice to be home it's cool it's much cooler than uh, Lake Havasu City when I left Lake Havasu City I think it was 105 and I saw on uh, I saw on some kind of message that came across oh uh, Google News I saw the Lake Havasu City was uh, experiencing record heat of 128 degrees holy smoke I am so glad I was out of there <laughs> well this isn't the sea though so it's probably lake weed I see a dragonfly. You do? It's right there. Oh. Catch it. Let's put it on the hook. I can't fly. Try to smush Good it. Good one, Ayla. I Try saw it. it. Try to smush it, Papa. No. Good one, Ayla. So, how many fish have you caught so far? A million. A million! Woohoo! You're the world's greatest fisherwoman. What do you think, Isaac? It's good. You like fishing? Yeah, it'd be better if you actually caught fish, though. Yeah. Mommy doesn't care if I really it in if I don't feel something. Oh, she doesn't? Mm -mm. Oh.
How many fish have you caught? None. You don't know? None! Yep. Oh right. my goodness. Are you holding your mouth right? Huh? Right. Did you lick your bait? No. Supposed to lick your bait. That's how the fish know to bite it. Oh, you got one! No, I guess not. Oh, yeah, we felt some seaweed, some lake weed. I see it. I see the thing. You see the thing? The bait. It's pink. Oh, it is? It's pink. Is it pink like your fishing pole? Look at it. Is it is it the same color as your fishing pole? Almost, huh? Oh. Yeah. Hey, let me get out of the way. Woo! Good job. That's pretty awesome. kids doing? Is that the kids bandit? Is that the kids? Are they gonna play with you? Hello. Anybody catch any fish? Nope. No. Nope. You fought the lake and the lake won? Yeah. Oh sure, man. Oh. Well, hi friends, it's Papa Dale, and I am out here with some of my family, and we are going for a hike around one of the three lakes in the community where I live. And back here, we see son-in-law, daughter, and granddaughter, and up there we see granddaughter and three puppies Abe bandit and Isaac oh wait no Isaac's not a puppy Isaac's a grandson yeah okay I uh, I forgot so anyway we're having a nice little hike around the lake in uh, beautiful Clearwood. <laughs> Catfish. Well, we're going to have a yabba dabba do time. This is uh, the day that we uh, go out kayaking on the lake. And we've got the uh, blow up kayak there. And right there, we've got uh, Isaac, my uh, grandson. And then we have over here a couple of uh, more regular kind of kayaks. And, oh, there's another grandson of mine. What's your name? Isaac. Oh, you're Isaac also? Well, wait a minute. 
There's, there's an Isaac right there, and then there was an Isaac over here, too. Oh, where'd that? Oh, they see, there he is. Uh, I have two grandsons. No, you don't. You have one. Oh. I'm the one grandson. Oh, you keep you keep moving. Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay. I keep moving in the camera. Okay. Say bye, YouTube. Bye. <laughs> Well, friends, here we are kayaking on Clear Lake. Got Ayla, who's in a kayak by herself. Got Adeline over there in the yellow one with Dad. <laughs> How come the front of that thing's pointed way up in the air? <laughs> yeah, but ever do. Ooh, look at you. Yeah, I think I may have to get one of those inflatables. It looks like fun. Fun at Papa's place. Papa's home base. Yabba dabba do. <laughs> Give me that rope, and that. Give me that rope. Papa, I'm not going to give you this rope. And it's hard to talk with my mouth full. Well, then let go of the rope and talk to me. No, I want to keep this rope, and you can't have it. Oh, bandit, give me that rope. No, Papa, sorry. I thought I'd uh, put a, a quick clip in this next video to uh, let everybody know who was concerned about my health that uh, right now, I'm, uh, as far as I know, I'm relatively stable. I had that medical emergency in uh, Oatman and went to the hospital in Kingman, Arizona and had to have the catheter put in and I came to uh, back to uh, my hometown as quickly as I could to see my urologist, uh, had the catheter taken out, uh, had my medication adjusted and everything uh, seems to be working uh, relatively normally had a uh, cystoscopy which uh, is a camera that goes inside your bladder and uh, looks things all over to see if there's uh, any cancer or uh, any obstructions or anything like that and of course I'm a prostate cancer survivor had radiation therapy and chemotherapy and uh, so that is uh, of concern and um, uh, the cystoscopy uh, came back that uh, everything looked relatively normal. It looked relatively normal. It looked relatively normal. So that's all good. So uh, that particular situation should be taken care of with uh, just with the medication. Um, I do have some other issues, which is one of the reasons why I do return to Washington every summer to see my doctors to get things checked out. Um, and I'm not going to go into any detail, uh, but uh, just to say that I've got to see my um, my cardiologist, I've got to see my neurologist, I've got to see my oncologist, and i got to see my primary care uh, physician, and uh, oh, and uh, the critical one is I've got to see my dentist. <laughs> but, you know, uh, I'm looking forward to a good report.
Uh, I'm feeling fine. Um, I'm actually getting stronger. Uh, got a lot of exercise in Arizona, and um, uh, I'm feeling stronger on my walks with Bandit. So um, I think that uh, I'm hoping that I'm in relatively good shape. Uh, you know, I don't really care if I die. I know where I'm going to go, but I don't uh, relish the idea of being in, an invalid or being a burden on my kids or anybody like that. So. So hopefully I'll just stay strong and healthy right up to the point where I croak and uh, I go quick. <laughs> so anyway, that's an update on Papa's health. <laughs>